this is the work of body artist Celeste Strew. The 20-year-old is entering the fantasy section of the Body Art Awards for the third time. Ooh, body Art, Body Art time, I get to go to Spotlight, yay! <laughs> She'll have seven hours to prepare her model for the stage using a flurry of latex glitter and paint. You're concentrating so hard on doing something that you'll often block out other people and all that. So if someone will say hi, you'll often not actually notice and then they'll have to actually go hi again and you're like, oh, oh, hi, how are you? She's not ignoring you. Celeste has severe hearing loss. She wears hearing aids and lip reads. Too much noise is painful. If it gets too loud, it just starts hurting my ears and, yeah, it can just be a bit, oh, I can't concentrate. She's chosen serenity over city life. Celeste lives out here, in quiet Kerry Kerry on Auckland's west coast. You can get lots of inspiration for things and if you need to chill, you can just go for a walk on the beach and it's just not much traffic and all that. Well, that doesn't make much difference to me because at night I take my hair and I doubt, so. Celeste's brother's a sculptor, her mum's a jeweller and her dad's a painter, Dean Buchanan. She grew up surrounded by art. Celeste was growing up with that, like for the last 30 years I've been painting. But Celeste's got a real drawing ethic. You either draw or you don't. And you can't really paint unless you draw. Celeste works and lives happily in the hearing world. But bullying in her first years of high school crushed her confidence. That first year of intermediate was just hell. I hated it. I'd come home just about in tears. It became too much, and Celeste switched to Calston School for the Deaf, where she flourished. Aside from being deaf, I'm also really dyslexic, which is a learning disability, which means you have a lot of trouble with writing, reading, mathematics, all the really academic stuff. She was taught sign language, but found it too hard to learn and use fluently. Something she puts down to her dyslexia. Why well, I lean more towards the arty side of things. Celeste has worked on feature films, done gory makeup in the Australian soap, All Saints. She's an extra, she's an actress, she's worked on video clips, and she's entering her third New Zealand Body Art Awards. And she's only 20. So, how do you even start this process? Do you get an idea and. I'll just be sort of. It's just sort of, they'll come out of the blue, like it'll be like you're in the car or something and you'll just start thinking about it and then go, ooh, 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 Celeste, Grecian god of the seasons, got her top marks in her first body art competition. Her last entry was a sea creature. The inspiration for that one was a sea nymph, you know, like from Greek mythology. They just... There's a type of fish called a lined fish and it's all big spines and fins and all that, which is what I use there for, you know. She's got all spines down her back and fins and all that. So she was meant to be like part way through kind of transforming. When she walked, it, like her back moves like that and it made all the spines move, like some were like there and there and they changed. It was just, it was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. She's still deciding how her piece this year will work. She's got too many ideas. And when you send in your application form to the judges and all that, you've got to send in a drawing of what you're going to do. And I just send them two faces. I just could not decide to, like, two faces with a, with, a, with a note saying I can't choose yet. Wait till the night. So they're not real That's shells. the fun of it. No, no, no. The last they minute stress, the unknown. Like, will the latex no. horns stick? They just glue on and hopefully they stay on. <laughs> Over the undies, because I can never stand it when undies are showing, one of my things. I have made her... That is so cool. ...the that goes over the top. It's made out of felt and <laughs> kitty glitter. And they're, they're brilliant, I tell you. Little things of glitter. Gory. Yes, and it's all just paint. Celeste works as a makeup artist on films and TV shows. So what are we going to do today? to my well, face. <laughs> what we'll do to your face is um, we'll go with a special effects look. So we'll give you, you know, the black eye, the split across the nose, the <laughs> nice bashed in the face look. 
Why are you using black? It makes the dark red because you want yeah. you want the cat to look deep, so you add black to make it look. So is it like being a CSI working out where blood spatter, which direction it would go and things like that? You've got to think about the way angles go, like if someone gets stabbed and then pulled downwards, you've got to get the injury into the right position. And blood continuity, oh my God. What are we doing now? We're doing the red for our uh, bruising, which will then come into your eye. So what would you say some of the challenges are being on a film set with a hearing impairment? Okay, yeah, just look up while I answer that. Um, one of the challenges is um, the mic things they have. I can't actually have, what they don't fit over my ears or anything, so oh, okay. I can't have one of the things in my ears, which is, I suppose in a way, one of the big challenges. Like I can miss action cut occasionally. I've just got to keep my ears open a bit more than I think than everyone else or else I'll miss things and it's like, get off set, get on set, you know. Yeah, do you want to see yourself now? All right. The, the mighty reveal. <laughs> well, thanks for beating me up today. <laughs> You're welcome. Needed to show you something and images better than words. I'm going to go out now and scare the people. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. It's always good to see that reaction. The joy of the double take. <laughs>